Hello everyone and welcome to This Week in Tech, a new segment on the MVK Virtual Show where I tell you all about the stuff that's been going on during the week in the technology world. So this is episode one and we'll be going straight to the action. So first up, Mac OS X Leopard 10.5.8, the new security update has been released working on features such as the Bluetooth connectivity, the screen resolution issues, and also lots of small bug fixes, and much more. So it's a must-have for current Leopard owners. Windows 7 has RTM'd, and it's been sent out to all of the testers for the last time, and it's found a major bug which causes a process to run that eats up all of your CPU, and causes the computer to blue screen. Some say this is going to derail the whole launch of Windows 7 and some say it can be fixed easily and October 22nd will still be the date. Google has sold its radio company and invested a hundred million dollars into new technology which will help YouTube. In the gadget world the Kodak ZI8 has been launched which is a long-awaited follow-up of the much known and loved Kodak ZI6 which was capable of 720p video recording and direct upload to YouTube. This one features Facebook integration, YouTube uploading, and full 1080p capture, which is really great for a pocket camera this size. The first HDMI 1.4 cable has been released, which obviously is not going to be used anytime soon, but maybe in the next year or so, we'll be looking at it for using 3D TV up to 2160p resolution, which is more than double the quality of what we have now and Ethernet internet capabilities all in one cable. Now it's time for the rumours segment. Is Apple releasing a tablet Mac? If so, it's probably of the 10 inch size. According to some sources, Apple have been researching on all sorts of different display sizes and resolutions, but 10 inch seems the most likely for them. Now all that's left to figure out is whether it will have an iPhone interface or a full Leopard interface like you see here. And when will this come out, if ever? There's another huge rumour that the Xbox 360 is dropping one of its members of the current lineup. The original console, previously known as the Premium Edition, is said to be cancelled from the line as the Xbox 360 Elite shown here in black is now almost as cheap as the original model, making it pointless to be there when the Xbox 360 Elite has much higher spec, more features. So this is a huge possibility that they could be dropping the original console and just keeping the arcade and Elite in the lineup. Is Apple replacing the iPhone 3G 8GB with a 3GS 8GB version? It should stay the same price according to some sources, which is $99 in America on contract with AT&T. Be sure to subscribe, add me on Twitter, or check out my new website mvkvirtual.yellowsite.com. Thanks, see you next week.